Hey, it's Mr. Estrada here, and this is our learning target for today. I can simplify rational expressions that require factoring. So just in case you don't know what the word rational means, the word rational is another fancy word for fraction. A rational is essentially a number that can be written as a fraction. So rationals usually look like this. They're in the form of A over B. All right, so here's our first example. Example one says simplify the following expression completely. So as you can see here, we have a rational expression because it's in the form of a fraction, and we're being asked to simplify this expression. So how do we simplify rational expressions? Well, it's essentially three steps. We're going to factor the top, we're going to factor the bottom, and then we're going to cancel out like factors. So now, before I start factoring the top and the bottom, I want to remind you of something. These are trinomials. Remember, when factoring a trinomial, you must find the two numbers that multiply to C and add up to B. So remember, your trinomials, they're in the form of AX squared plus BX plus C. You need to figure out the two numbers that multiply to C and add up to B. So that's what we have to do here. We have to factor the top by finding the two numbers that multiply to C, which is the negative 9, and add up to B. So I'm going to write my two sets of parentheses, x and x. Now, what two numbers multiply to negative 9, but also add up to 8? So that would be what? So we could just start by listing the factors of 9 and figure out which one of those factors are going to add up to 8. So this is something that you know I've, I've, I've covered before, so I'm not going to go into much detail about it. I'm just going to go ahead and write the factors down. The factors that are of negative 9 that add up to 8, and that would be positive. 9 multiplied by negative 1. These two numbers multiply to negative 9, right? 9 times negative 1 is negative 9, and they add up to 8. 9 plus negative 1 is 8, and then 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. So now we got to factor the bottom. So it's essentially the same process, right? Two sets of parentheses, x and x. The two numbers that multiply to c and add up to b. So that would be negative 1 multiplied by negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. A negative times a negative is a positive. And then you have negative 1 plus negative 1. They'll give you negative 2. So two numbers that multiply to C and add up to B. And then the final step says cancel out like factors. So this x minus 1 will cancel out with one of these x minus 1s. And the final answer is x plus 9 over x minus 1. That's our final answer. Okay, let's try another example. It says simplify the following expression completely. So again, it's essentially three steps. Factor the top, factor the bottom, cancel out like factors. So let's start with the top. To factor this, we need two sets of parentheses. And this is a difference of perfect squares. So it's going to be... So like I just said, right, it's going to be a difference of perfect squares. So this is going to be x, this is going to be x, and the square root of uh, 16 is 4, so it's going to be 4 and 4, and i got to make sure I give it opposite signs. Now, i got to factor the bottom. This is going to require one set of parentheses, not two. So you're going to take out the GCF of 2 and 8, that's 2. 
and you're going to take out the variable with the lowest exponent, that would be x. So now, what goes inside the parentheses? Well, you're factoring 2x squared plus 8x. So 2x times something has to give you 2x squared. Well, what is that something? You've got to figure it out. Well, 2x multiplied by x gives me 2x squared. And then 2x multiplied by what will give me 8x? That would be 2x multiplied by positive 4 would give me 8x. Now, as the last step, you've got to cancel out like factors. So this x plus 4 will cancel out with this x plus 4. And you are left with x minus 4 over 2x. That's your final answer. All right. I hope this video helps. Take care.